Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 57, March 3rd. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't here right now with us attending. Looking forward to this grand agenda, which basically comes down to triage. And then Bob asked if we could wander through the open issues which of 310, which some people could argue is triage of open issues. But I would. I would argue that. Yeah, so in the end, hey, guess what? I merged it all into one slide. It is triage and 310 issues. All right, Bob, you ready? I am ready. We have 15 issues. This is, this is a lot of issues. I don't know what to think about that. All right, cool. Da 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 da. V6 install per machine always set as no impersonate. The, the no impersonate flag is set. This will prevent V6 from installing. Um, I'm confused. Yeah, I, I. We asked for a scenario, and it's kind of the same thing as the original comment. Um, <sighs> I don't know how that. So I guess this is more of, does V6 just fail? Um, I don't, <laughs> you have to set no impersonate to make it per machine. Right. right. Um, I don't understand. Choose to install a V6 on per machine basis. A new impersonate flag is always set. Well, that's what per machine means. It's just a nicer way of saying it. Right. <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll I'll be more explicit this time. Uh, they need to provide us a log file, but at this point, in this case, UAC is enabled, and it will not propagate the rights accordingly and fail the installation. Well, that, but, so, anyway. Keith, V6 has its own, V6 installer has its own log? Oh. Hmm. Fine. Hmm. I, I'd just like to see the Wix log that gives us the error message that says what it's getting back. That would be a start in the right direction, too. True. So let's get the actual error message. I, I just... I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this is how you make it per machine. I guess we could remove the no impersonate flag, then it'd be per user, and that wouldn't give them anything better. I'm so confused. Yeah. Um. Yes. Heath, you know, is that just in temp? I'm assuming if VS Collect picks it up. Is the V6 log in temp? Okay. All right. Cool. I'll add that. Great. And yeah, still more info. We'll come around next week and see if it's still here. Antivirus interferes with ICE validation. It could. Say, is it possible? Sure. Right. If you kill a... Pr um, then light runs without any error. Right. So... Well, this just reinforces the idea that Ice validation kind of blows. Um, yeah, we but, already knew that. I don't know. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, my assumption is that a lot of antivirus is now getting like really aggressive as he's a new installer and it goes, whoa. Um, that, I mean, yes, this is true. I just, there, there's nothing we can do to address that except not run ICEs. Because it's probably it probably has something to do with you know, the the MSI the, the temp MSI gets created and then the ICEs get merged into another temp MSI right yes and that that behavior is you know probably enough to I'm sure it looks weird ups yeah it look exactly exactly um but clearly there's so, nothing we can do about it um. So suppress validation and run smoke.exe by hand. Yep. I, and submit a bug to the antivirus people that they're catching too much stuff. That's a good idea. BA functions should add support for standard bootstrap UI events. I would what are those? I, 
I would like that support to customized behavior is added for UI related modifications and BA functions. Possibility to implement UI input validation for standard bootstrap or BA functions. So the ability to do input validation in BA functions. Okay. I still don't know what standard bootstrapper UI events are. Oh, I assume it's the Wix standard bootstrapper and then UI events that we don't have today. Like what? Well, I don't this this, move? This, sen this sentence is the one that I'm going to focus on. <laughs> I'm going to choose to focus on, which is allow the possibility to implement UI input validation. So I, okay, fine. So you want to do input validation somewhere. So, sure. Uh, yeah. Someone could do that. Okay. Right? So we could come up with a, a whip that describes how they think this should work. Yeah, sorry, I guess I'm I'm at that step. How would that work? And on plan, it's there. Well, yes, yeah, sort of, but not in the UI, and you can't have any interaction with the UI and change the UI and stuff like that. It's all kind yeah, of this is this is asking for something new. Like right now, BA functions right something new. kind of deal at the burn level, and this is okay. Now deal with stuff at the at the at the Wix standard BA level, like right. changing pages and stuff. Okay. Sure. All right. I mean yeah, sure. Cool. Feature to enable disable firewall. We have that, right? Or no. No, this is talking about the whole firewall. Killing killing the whole firewall. I that's what I'm guessing. Wow. That um seems excessive. Um it does. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Especially in this day and age, that seems mean. Here, yeah, dis it. disabling is is kind of not not great. Um, I could see I, I could see it for like enabling, like uh, on Win Seven. Uh, uh, what is it? Security Essentials will turn on the firewall for you if you for some reason turned it off. off. I, I'm okay. I'm <laughs> I I. I yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, suspend it and wait and see what happens. Um, that or say we have the ability to configure the firewall. I don't know that we should do the whole suspend, suspend, dis enable, disable thing. Yeah, well, and of course the truth is you can already do this, right? Service control will let you turn off the firewall. Oh, completely sure. brute force. Um, I, I say we suspend this, and if they want to know how to use the firewall, you know, like Eric and Heath are suggesting, then yeah, then let them go ask a question on Wix users. I don't want to spend too much time trying to diagnose that. Yeah. Wait. Package reference count does not work as expected. No, that's helpful. A and B have product C. When I install A, I see that package provider A. Okay, I do not see similar lines when installing B right after A. When I uninstall B, I see the following lines. Will uninst not uninstall product C, found one dependence one. Product C is not removed. However, if we uninstall A, then product C will be removed because of so no other dependencies are registered. When you uninstall B, but if A is still on the machine, this is true, right? However, if we uninstall A first, oh, will be removed, sorry, even though B was there. However, if I wish to understand, A first and product will be removed because according to the session, no other dependents are registered. If both bundles contain one more product D that is not installed on first run, on first run, this dependency should be registered for both bundles no matter which one is used later on to install the product. Nah, this one doesn't sound right. I don't know about the second oh, thing. That's completely unrelated, isn't it? Yeah, this is completely unrelated. And that's not right. If B didn't say it wanted D, then it doesn't get to hold on to it. Yeah. And there's not enough information to say... It's not clear why that B didn't register a provider for the package. What if the package is a XE package? It's hard to tell. Product, though. They are saying, oh, product C, good. So that's a something. Mm hmm yeah. Actually, that's interesting, isn't it? I don't see anything product C good 
Is is that guaranteed to be an MSI? Well, I'm assuming that product C is, means go, means product. Mm. Um, but yeah, the I mean that happens automatically, right? If if it's an MSI, it should it. all be automatic unless they've done something interesting, which we don't yeah. have information to say that. So I think this is more info and ask for log files and maybe even authoring that demonstrates the problem so we can go, oh, look, this is what you did in your WXS file. But there's not enough here to know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we need the we need the logs and the source code to compare. More info? Yep, yep. Cool. Works. VS 2013. When open a solution containing C sharp and VB, ID crashes. Oh. Well, there's VB involved, so it's uh, self defense. <laughs> Not settings. This would be votive, presumably. Because an extension with oh is already located loaded in oh weird what is this extension extension will not be loaded because of, oh that's probably not that's probably just noise probably I don't read that but I'm not sure that if I could read it I would get anything out of it no those version numbers are Wix version numbers so I don't know if <laughs> that's very helpful containing oh, that's, C sharp that's and just the event log crash. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I was trying to see something in there. After I install Wix 3.8 or Wix 3.9. Cool. Votive. I don't know what to do about it. We'd have to get a repro of it. Uh, yeah, this is deep, dark Votive stuff. Yeah, probably some interaction with some other extension. Usually it is that. I guess we could ask them to start evaluating their extensions and seeing if that's causing a problem, but there's really not much else to know here. I'll have to go dig into all their Visual Studio information to figure it out. So, Votive, put it in 3x and ask for more information, I guess, or uh, or do you want to hunt yeah. this one down further? I, I mean, I, I, no. Like I said, deep dark Votive, you're. Yeah. Probably an extension messing the world up. Usually is. Yeah. Yeah, the the error there is interesting, but I think it's probably not related. The problem is that there's a lot of these. I, I doubt it's that one. Yeah. There might be more in here that are related to Wix, though. It's hard to tell. That log files can be noisy. But yes, that does sound like a problem. Incorrect run return type. Oh, yes, this is totally right. <laughs> Boolean is different than bool. Very, very crazy stuff. Really makes me wonder what's going on, like what kind of problems we might be having out there. But yeah, we should take this <laughs> three, ten, and four. Uh, yeah. How do we do yeah. that? How do we do that? How do we take this? In multiple versions. We go create two pull requests. Oh, put it in 310 and say you should go to 42. Yes. Know. That's what Sean's been doing. It seems to be working okay. Tags would be good there. <sighs> Handle VS 2015 SKU matrix. Right. Uh, we're just waiting on the VS 2010 SKU matrix for this, correct? <laughs> yeah, so, um, well, like I said, um, it's, it's, yeah, confusing. So we have a bunch of stuff, um, especially in the detection where you know we support stuff that probably doesn't exist anymore uh, but obvious <laughs> ones well no I mean like we have we have detection for like C++ at, at the pro yeah well at the project system level yeah which is cool but of course you know even with all the the stuff they're doing um, Around selectable selectable items in in Visual Studio 2015, still you're always going to have all the languages they haven't seen fit to to do that again. Specifically, I ran into this when I was working on Doc, where um, huh. I I didn't want to dock the stuff that I hope will go away. Like if there's a community edition, maybe then 
uh, there won't be express queues, and we can drop all that. So, right. so I think the answer is we should <clears throat> take this bug in 3.10 as soon as we can fix it. That would be good. Correct? Oh, definitely for sure. This is... All right, cool. Then we can move yeah. on. PDB okay. should be made available in an installer. No. You can just get the zip files. And if we're going to do PDBs and available and stuff, I'd rather do a source server, so... Well, where are we going to do that? Oh, I don't know. I've looked at symbol source a couple of times. I've looked at just setting it up on Azure. It's not that hard. It's just a matter of getting it done. But yes. I don't know. We should not create an installer. We should put them up on a symbol server and call it good. Um, okay. VS 2010 V6 installer support's missing. I guess that's probably not surprising that because we don't have VS 2010 done yet. Or 20, 2010, wow. 2010. 2015 done, right? So we probably should fix this in 310. Normally I'd say no, but Andrew made it a feature request, so he gets bonus points for that. So, yes, right? All right. He's volunteering, so. Cool. All right, so we should take this in 310 before we ship. Uh, yes. Wix burn mix mode error, and Sean has already fixed this. Yeah, I saw this pull request come through. Very interesting. Uh, we should take this in 310. I don't know if it's already in. It might already be it in. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> we got ahead of the bug. Um, but yeah, good stuff, good fix, crazy stuff. Unable to cast type Wix data row to that. All right, probably some specialization that didn't happen straightforward enough. Oh, it's a pull request. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. We'll go look at the pull request later. Hidden numeric and version variables are broken. Right. This is Sean getting, getting himself all good stuff to track, and he already has fixes for this, too. Very good stuff. Going back and testing with this stuff. Very good. Very good. Mick, SFCA could not find part of path. During that, I am seeing this. If they have a path that will reduce the length by 20, 30 characters. I see they have a path that's way too long. Yeah. Um, so the best we could do is spit out an error ahead of time for this that says, uh, we just noticed your path is going to blow. Yeah, Sean, I, I suspect that the short, he shortened it when he or she shortened it when, when posting that because I've seen that. The builds 464, that's Jenkins, I think, does that. And, you know, if they're doing the typical thing of, here, let's have, you know, 40 character long assembly names, the source path, the source directories are usually the same 40 characters, and then there's something else, and then there's something else, and then, yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, well, I guess I should read the book. Um... He said he fixed if they reduced the path by 20 to 25 characters. I've tried the missing slash fix. It makes no difference. Um, well, I can, again, say, please give us logs and we'll take a look, but... He's saying close no repro. Yeah, works for me. Where's the... I'm missing the comment. I can... I would suggest creating an account with a deep path. It seems like that is the issue. Yeah, so... Where is the part that he replaced? Sorry for the blanks. I filled in the number of characters. Yeah, I don't know. The exact number or some? 
Do we want to do work to, let's see, who's spitting this out? Make SFXCA could check, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I'd settle for the logs because that would at least. Well, we'd be able to see the path sure. then, right? We, yeah, we'd see the path coming in. Uh, basically, all I want is the SFX, make SFXCA command line. Um, yeah, so I, I'd ask for another log, and if he doesn't want it, then please post yeah. diagnostic log. Yeah, let's add it. Let's ask for logs. I mean, you've asked here. Say so, yeah. thanks, anyways. I, I don't know. He, he's been coming back. They they found their fixed twenty twenty five characters. I'm not, not sure that I'm. Slash. That's what I'm. What's that? Well, there's two errors in the bug. Oh, the backslash in that? Yeah. Creating a custom action with a deep path, that seems like the issue. Well, again, provide a diagnosis. If he doesn't, then we can make the bug go away. We'll see. I, I say let's do that one more time, you know, and then we'll go from there. Because we want to see exactly his or her path, exactly how long it was. I'm not sure if these are the exact number of right number of characters. I'm not confident of that. It might be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Disallow no bundle elements when building a bundle. Haven't we? Yeah, duplicate. Yeah, we should do that. If we could find a way to do that. It's not, you can't do it in a fret. You can't do it at compile time. You have to do it at link time. Yeah. You have to go search all other tables that don't expect in a bundle, and it's just like, ugh. But yes, that's what it would be. So, anyway. But this bug is the same one? Uh, yeah, I opened that particular one. Yes. Yes, that. That. I agree with this statement. Because it, it does so go both statement. ways, right? There, there are MSI things that you can pull into a bundle, and there are definitely, my, my case was the opposite, which is, well. You're trying to pull a variable into actually, MSI? No, it was the, it was the, the searches from Wixutil extension. Oh, yes. Because they they're, today work they're in, better. They are better, but they don't work in MSI because we haven't finished that custom action. Right. Right. That. Yep. That. Boom. All right. So now you want to go to 310 open, correct? Please. 17. Okay. Yes. Are we starting at the bottom? Oh, dear. This bug. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been yes. saying I need to get back and burn to re-evaluate all these pull requests that are ancient that are in burn and need to get my confidence level back up and everything that's going on in there. I should do that. <sighs> Yes. All right. Well, yeah, that just made my afternoon. This is one more straw on the camel. Uh, what are we doing with these? <laughs> nice. Uh, oops, sorry. What are you pointing to? Uh, uh, the 45246 ULAs. Sorry. Too many windows, not enough monitors. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, 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 this weekend I added a third monitor. Um it's well it's still confusing me um this one actually i was like oh i can't do anything until four six comes out like no it's right there in the title four five two so um i will take this on for four five two add the the four five two eula and get it out um just yeah you know, so I, I can prove it with an existing shipped dot net and then hopefully quickly do the same thing for four six uh, yeah, 4033 may be fixed. I don't think I've seen a fix that comes that. I don't know if I saw the same. I, I had to go double check to see if it was fixed. Add burn support for only caching packages. Yes, this. And there's a PR that we need to to do. Right, and this is always confusing because they had the asynchronous child stuff in it, which isn't what this is about. Um, now, what was confusing is that Sean has a fix for a different caching problem but that wasn't related to this, was it, Sean? Because you made a fix in burn in four. That was fixed. Right. Good. 
So this is about adding caching. So the, the issue I have with the pull request right now is that I don't think we should expose a, a, another, ca another command line switch to burn that makes all BAs implement caching. I do think we should have the ability to say install action caching, but I don't think it's a top level action we should add. It's not like one of those things that's in the standard Microsoft, here's the command lines you should implement thing. And that, it plumbed it all the way out, which I mean makes sense if you're like, all right, here's a new action, I'll plumb it all the way through. But I don't think that, yeah, it's not a variant of layout either. So it's, because it caches the package cache, which isn't interesting in most cases. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's not an interesting use scenario normally. Um, it, it's a very specialized scenario. I don't know why a user would ever say, please do this from the command line. But it's something that the BA should be able to request. From it is the absolutely engine. something the BA should be able to request. And I totally can get the scenario like what you guys have done where you want to say one bundle, tell another bundle, please do this. But if we put it on the command line, we're basically telling everybody, hey, you should implement this. Right? And your BA should handle this command line switch because people are going to give it to you and what are you going to do? And they're going to be like, well, I don't know what it is, so I guess I'll treat it like modify, you know, which then you fall back to install typically, or, you, or whatever you want to treat it like. So it's like, I don't think we should expose it that far. But internally, we need to support the whole ability to do cache. Because, you know, that might be the easiest way to get your way through the, you know, planning too. You're like, plan a cache for everything, and I'll turn one thing on to install. <laughs> that might be the easiest way to get things installed, you know, everything cached and one thing installed. I don't know. Depends on how you write your PA. So, yeah, anyway. Um... But I don't think caching as a command line switch is something we should expose to all or should force all bundle authors to write. Because every time I talk to somebody and they're like, okay, what do I have to do for my BA? You go through this list, longer list of command line switches, and you're like, here. All of these are things that a user can give you. And they're like, oh, I don't really want to support passive. And I'm like, well, I hear you, except that Microsoft really says you should, so there's that. And they're like, well, I don't really want to support layout. And I'm like, well, fortunately, you don't have to do a lot for layout. So <laughs> you can just, once you have passive, layout's pretty easy. You but you still have to do it. it. Yeah, you don't have to do much, but yes. Anyway. But then when they hear about it, some of them are like, oh, that's perfect. I'm so glad I have that. Like, right. So anyway, I don't think people will say that about caching. It's never come up with caching. It has come about, how do I burn a CD? Oh, that's a slash layout. It's, oh, okay. We still get the extract, too. They could, but that's not something we should push to that, like, I'd rather them say, we support this command line switch, and then you do it. Plus, it's just not caching as an install without the install. Yeah, so anyway, I don't think we should specify, make it a command line thing for everybody. Otherwise, yeah, we need to do, I haven't looked at the pull request entirely. I just saw the command line switch. I was like, oh, I don't think we should do that. But anyway. You can just, you don't have to reject the PRs. You can just add to the branch and fix it, and then the PR will be updated automatically. We don't have to reject them for you to update the PR. Just update the branch, and it will be taken care of, Heath, and, you know, you just do it. It's easy that way. It's always kind of scary, too. I always wonder, what happens if I merge just before someone can um, push the, uh, you know, pull request through? You know, it's like, oh, it's like I'm about to hit the merge button, and they update the branch, and then I get the wrong stuff. Yeah, you never know, right? Uh, Pyro throws MSI accept in which patch <laughs> patch baseline name is really long. Oh yes, um, yeah right. This is the oh the whole how many is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the number? It's like well it depends. <laughs> yes, this one. Yeah, and this is the other. Um, where it's variable based on the number of transforms because we're building exactly the ID at, yeah. at link time. So I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. Um, I kind of like to, uh, to make the fix, but I'm actually at a point where I don't want to. I don't know that I want to change it, because the easy solution is just to produce it, right? We know it's never going to be more than, you know, uh, n characters, however many it is. Um, so we could do that, but I don't want to break anyone who's. Who with the four? 
Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Before. That's where I'm getting to. Yeah. All right. Um, Fast forward. So, yeah, I would be okay with moving this to four. And I'll put it in for O because figure out our that error message is brutal though, so something. Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Oh wait, VS twenty fourteen support and VS extension. Oh hey look a dupe. It is I think. It's just yeah, oh, I remember this. He, yeah, he he's typing. Oh no, he's typing about the old thing. Um. Yeah, Heath, you were you commented on the pull request here. Um, oh, this is V6 package. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. That is, is this the same thing that Andrew is asking for. Yes. Good. So we yep. have a dupe, except this is obviously the wrong number, but didn't know. Yeah. That. Okay. Um, oops. All right, cool. Temp file for update feed isn't deleted when download fails. Hoover, where are you? <laughs> he said he's triple booked, so he's not showing up today. Ah. Because clearly we aren't important in terms, you know, probably real work that he's doing. So, so... Um, we still should do this, right? I wonder what I was thinking yeah. when I wrote this. <laughs> Everyone has said that at one point or another. Honestly, he may have this fix, and it's maybe floating around in a pull request somewhere, because I'm a little bit behind on But his stuff is four, I think, so maybe not. So, anyway. Yes. We'll leave it, because he has it open. Uh, Wix BA allows multiple clicks of install button while update check is running. <laughs> oh, the Wix BA. Oh, that's kind of cool. Not uh, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm sure it does I, really kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, multiple applies happen. <laughs> that's right. awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, Jacob said he's still interested in it, so let's well, let's give him a chance to come around next week. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm Document also... how to include this. Look at all this nice, beautiful documentation. No. Or just block files. Yeah, it doesn't really count as doc. Source code, that counts as doc, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, you signed to me. Um, I will probably still do this. It, it is actually pretty Good. straightforward. Net effects dialogs not optimized for localized text. Mm. Yeah, this is. <laughs> the, the button should resize automatically. Yeah, you can write the code for that. Yeah, I know, I know. This is the problem, right? Um, however, the, the, the support I added to resize buttons in a Wixel file should work for this. Right. So, um, hmm, assign to no one. Shouldn't be in 310. Or I should assign it to myself, which is what I'll do. Okay. Heat. Failed to set loggers, causing my bells to fail. Um, Where did this end up? Oh, I have no idea. Blows the output from that. Mm. It did work on 3.8, not on 3.9. What did we possibly change? Uh, 4.0? <laughs> did we 4.0 something? Um, hmm. that's interesting. Hold on. Oh, heat project. 
Yeah, all kinds of crazy I, stuff happens in that stuff. I've never trusted Heat Project. Um, and it's also where the funkiest code lives, although, again, I don't recall anything changing. Um, maybe it needs to, I guess. Um... I, yeah, I can see that. I can see that <laughs> happening. Um, it's never, yeah, because cause this is, yeah, we do all the funky stuff to load. Oh, God, yeah. Um, okay, so I don't know why this is in 3.10, actually, except maybe I did maybe you that felt, by default. You felt bad a, about it because it was a 3.9 regression? Yeah, but it's in heat and in heat project, so I don't feel so bad anymore. Um, I would not hold 310 for this. If if heat became more and more busted because of because of MS builds moving around and now being side by side and all that, maybe. But for this particular thing, I just we don't have a we don't have a heat a heat owner. No. True. So, is it staying in 310 or is it going somewhere else? How about 3x? Fine by me. Your call. Unless someone else wants yeah. it. Yeah. Which is why you know, we should leave it in 3x in case okay. someone does. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. It's a, like, I meant someone around. wants it in 310, they could take it now. Documentation bug has a name, but the. Description explains the image. I guess it's just wrong there. Ah, good. I think, is this done? I just couldn't take it. Oh, it's assigned to Jacob? No, that's Sean kind of fixed sucks. it, and I merged it. Hey, look, we can close this. Yeah, right. That's, that's, <laughs> anyway, yes. Wix NetFX, NetFX 452 Web. Not listed in there. Oh, four, four requests. Ah, right. Is this done? I don't know. It's old. I hope nope. so. Nope. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone's been slacking. <sighs> yes, that's exactly what I've been doing. <laughs> Two twenty-two. Oh, it's not that old. How old is it? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, someone's been slacking only a tiny little bit. Have I even been in the state since that happened? <laughs> yes. No. Well, I mean, yeah, for three days. All right, whatever. Oh, well, there you go. Right. Half a week. Anyway, I'm cutting myself some slack on that one. Pyro, yeah, object go. not set to instance of object. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Media template with... Yes, media template with pyro. I, I have Something. poked around... A little bit. It's not obvious to me why this is failing. Um, I'm a little reluctant to go mucking around in Pyro because it's evil and scary and all that. And I don't have I don't have a convenient patch build. Um, even just to verify they didn't break anything, much less actually fix the bug. So. Um, I'm willing to keep it open a little bit longer. Okay. If I get braver, we'll see. Get a little braver. Yeah. Salvo pre-initialized burn built-in variables do not resolve when using MSI property variables. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. This is... Oh, it's a dupe. It is. Oh. And that's in 3X. That's right. Oh, interesting. That's well, right. it, it's a mild dupe. I actually didn't see that behavior with the options page. Um, that's interesting. I I got as far as figuring out that the variables are all serialized to go from the unelevated process over to the elevated process. Mm -hmm. And... The funky way that some of the variables are initialized, mm -hmm. those the funky ones don't get don't get serialized correctly. 
Um, and then I got lost in a maze of code, so. Right, so if you don't reference it, we don't pull it across, or we don't initialize it so that it doesn't get serialized across. That actually makes some sense. I mean, yeah. I mean sorry, that that lines up with my understanding. You can argue about making yeah. sense. Because <laughs> we delay load a lot of the variables so that we don't spend a whole lot of time spinning up variables that you never need and dumping a bunch of stuff that you don't use. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. It's an interesting problem. Yeah. So I'm I'm willing to keep it open for a little bit longer, again based on my my bravery. Okay. Build incorrectly uses intermediates from last known good. Yeah, when the this is unchanged. Yes. Yeah. So I got this one figured out. Huh. Um. Basically, intermediate path was. Uh, um, was not set, or sorry, was set to the same thing in the same configurations. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah, it looks like he agrees with you. Yes. As all right thinking people should. Good. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, that's all you got. But it's. <sighs> I left it open only because I'm wondering whether we should change the templates um, and or whether Wix.targets does the right thing by default. The, as I recall, the templates do um, specify all of those values, which seems weird, or it specifies an intermediate output path property. Mm-hmm. Which seems weird because Wix that targets should do that. Um, then it occurred to me, oh wait, what does Wix that targets do by default? And then it got to the point where it's like, well wait, we still have this issue of you know creating the additional platforms inside Votive not working well. well so if you're going to add them manually. Okay. So basically, I left this open just for a bit of discussion. Do we want to make this change? Um, I don't think we want to make it a default change because suddenly we would be, you know, changing people's output paths. I, I think that's it's only. I think that's bad in in three X. I think we could do it in four if we need to put it. If it needs to be done, it needs to differentiate. What is he adding? Is he adding configuration or is he adding platform? He's not adding anything. The default is obj configuration, so oh, there's no platform. That that seems that's wrong. I can't and believe well, that's our intermediate default. targets. The intermediate targets don't do that, though, do they? The sorry, the Wix targets don't do that, do they? That would make me sad. If the Wix targets did that. Well, I don't want to make you sad. Oh no, really? I don't know. All right, I'm going to take a quick look if I can find it. So, don't look. Oh, no, we do the right thing. I'm not finding where it's defined. Oh, <laughs> it's not defined in Wix 4 anymore. Oh, in 3, we define it if, if platform name is not any CPU. We include it. So the Wix targets do the right thing. It's the project templates that don't. That would not terribly surprise me then. The, the, I'm actually really surprised. The templates should just omit it, right? Yeah, they shouldn't specify it. Um, so I'm thinking we move it to 4 and fix the templates there. Um, I would be okay. I would be drop. okay fixing the templates in three, because if you create a new project, you don't have the problem. But no, that's, that's true. Me. That's me. Yeah, no, no, I think that's okay. Yeah, it's you're not going. Yeah, it's you're using the templates. It's all new. That's right. 
you'll adapt. Plus, it's only intermediates. Yes, that too. Yay! All right. Everybody commits agrees. me. Handle VSQ. Yeah, we just brought this, and Heath took it. I don't exactly know what that means, that Heath took it. I thought, but okay. I'll let you guys go work through what that means. And V6 is missing. This is a dupe of this one down here. We should dupe it down to our seven months go bug and maybe update the title of the old one. Just to be kind. But yeah. Yeah, cool. that works. That works. One of them should be duped the other, and while I agree that this one has a better title, or a more correct title, that's not the other guy's fault, because he did think it was going to be called VS 2014. It was a reasonable guess back then, given all things. Uh, all right. Agree. I think I've done enough of this bug triage stuff. People agree? <laughs> we're done here, right? All right? I think we're good. Anything else? <laughs> I got a plus one from Phil. That's awesome. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> uh, anything else? It's almost been an hour, so we could probably call it good here. Um, hope we get a hope we get a video out of this one. I guess we did last time. We should this time. After a couple false starts, making it start a little late, um, we should be all good. Oh man! And I'm not traveling constantly now, so maybe I'll have a little bit of time to sit down and breathe. Uh, 310 build went out last night. Sean asked for that after pointing out that there's been enough changes to make it worthwhile to do that. Um, we can do a Wix 4 build probably after a few more of these things come in. Um, so I guess we'll call that good. Nobody's got anything else? I've rambled on for my, my point. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I guess, all right. I'm not getting anything. Bob's not even talking to me anymore. It's like, oh, Hello, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I was off reading my comics, doing something, I don't know, covering in my, my $5 Canadian bills or whatever it was to oh, make yes. them look like Spock. Live long and prosper. <laughs> All right. On that note, I'm going to call it. You guys have a wonderful week. I expect we'll do this again next week. We should hopefully have fewer bugs. Um, yes, we know there's a bunch of pull requests out there. We need to plow through those, get to better places on them, um, and all that kind of good stuff. Otherwise, until then, you guys take it easy. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye now.